So uh, we're excited today to talk about an equity investment, an agreement in principle between Eclipse Aerospace and Sikorsky Aircraft uh, for an equity investment from Sikorsky investing into Eclipse. And we think that is absolutely outstanding, bringing us uh, closer and closer to the final mile of getting us towards the inevitable production run for this aircraft. So very, very exciting. Dave, big surprise here on the floor of MBAA 2010, second day. It shouldn't be a whole lot of news, but boy, you sure shocked a few folks by making uh, Eclipse obviously uh, stand up and, and take a bow for getting in league with one of the best capitalized and best run companies in the business. It's an exciting time for us as well, in which uh, coming together with Eclipse and providing for that investment opportunity for us in a, in a great aircraft and then providing for enhancement capability with our product support globally as we do. We, we support aircraft, helicopters and fixed wing around the world. So you take the, the advantages of Sikorsky Aircraft Services and support and be able to take that and also uh, a connection to all of our supply chain management, cost reductions, which can really make a realized value here at Eclipse. This is big league stuff, so the obvious question is why the Eclipse? Why the Eclipse? Because we like the aircraft, and it has a great capability. So there's a bright future there. It's powered by Pratt & Whitney engines. It's also part of our team. So that's exciting when we look forward to it as it goes forward with today and capabilities of the machine, and uh, we'll see where it develops from there. We're excited about one of the most innovative uh, companies in, in aviation uh, around the world. The global supply chain support that it adds to us, the depth of knowledge. I mean, to have Sikorsky come in, make a minority equ equity investment in our company, uh, help and in, in lend their expertise in all the things and facets of the business they do to support this great product is absolutely phenomenal. And we're ecstatic. And uh, we, we can't uh, wait for this deal to officially close in about uh, 45, 60 days. And, and, and we're uh, already hard at work with a lot of their teams. Well, one would assume that when you do make a production decision and so forth, uh, when the economy improves and so forth, yes, we've been listening, uh, that this is the perfect partner for deployment. Well, you know, I think it's uh, I think it's a great partner, and uh, uh, and and I don't I won't say that it's the only partner that we'll have either. So uh, we're we're looking to bring you know this plane back. We've we've had so much uh, love and appreciation for uh, the Eclipse uh, aircraft. It's phenomenal the support we're getting throughout the entire industry. So uh, many many large manufacturers are reaching out and saying, hey, how can we help you? get back up into production because you're important to the ecosystem of aviation and uh, we're just absolutely ecstatic about uh, these guys stepping forward not only with dollars but also with expertise. Well, let me make a suggestion here. I'd like you to address the Eclipse community for a second. Forget the rest of us, forget the dollar guys, forget the suits. But the Eclipse community that's been hanging in or trying to hang in and so forth and been hoping for the best all along, what does this mean? I think this is a, an indicator that Eclipse Airspace is here to stay. If there's any doubters out there, it's no longer a situation of success or failure. I think now we're talking about degrees of success. Is there anything particularly you think about the Eclipse or this program that really attracted Sikorsky? Well, I mean, it's the most innovative uh, twin-engine jet ever produced, in my opinion. I mean, the fuel efficiency, the economics of it, you know, it meets the needs of 70% of travel day-to-day uh, -day in general aviation throughout the United States. 750 nautical miles or less, passenger load of three or less. The Eclipse, you know, can handle much, much more than that, and, uh, and it can substantiate 70% of that type of travel. I think it's just, I think that's why they invested, because of the product and the belief in the way our management and our team is, uh, is uh, managing that product. And finally, and I realize this is really early on in the game, but can you give us something of a roadmap as to what we might see from an Eclipse Sikorsky agreement in the future, how this is going to actually manifest itself? Well, uh, you, what you're going to see is you're going to see Eclipse Aerospace is still uh, is still its own company. All right, uh, this is a, this is a support agreement. This is an equity investment agreement, uh, but it's a minority agreement, and uh, we uh, we beat to our own drum, and uh, we're we're uh, we're going to continue to do that and uh, and come back into production. So I I don't think you'll see much changes in my game plan whatsoever. I think this is just a, a support floor uh, for a lot of growth for the future, but. Uh, uh, we march on and we're ready to put this plane back into production as soon as the market is ready for us. Aero TV is brought to you by
The beauty of the Release 9 system architecture is that you have two fully redundant integrated flight displays. Each has access to all the systems and data. Providing full redundancy and eliminating traditional reversionary modes, Release 9 allows either display to be configured as the PFD. Now your failure modes are much more manageable because you can continue to fly with the same familiar display symbology without the need to relearn composite modes you don't typically fly with. Avidyne's Integra Release 9 is truly the next generation in fully integrated flight deck technology.